Guys, I'm Frequented World. We are heading to the cottage and we're going magnet fishing. The kids are going to come with me. We're going to take the paddle boat, uh, the GoPro, do some snorkeling. There's a public beach there. Uh, there's an island that the kids call Blueberry Island. They've been going on there since they were little kids. They are just dying to go out there and look for treasure. So we're going to make a family day of it on Canada Day. Happy Canada Day, everybody. And uh, let's see what we can get magnet fishing. Charged the old GoPro up last night. We've got a uh, version 3 black, which uh, has not seen the use that it should have over the years. But it does an excellent job, so we'll do some diving with that. And I also bought, in the winter, the Polar Pro macro clip-on lens for that. So when you're snorkeling, that's an excellent thing to stick on there. You can get a couple inches away from fish and uh, any cool structure and things you find. Found it! Took some doing, but uh, there's my snorkel gear, guys. Mask, fins, snorkel. We will be good to go. Oh, we had a slight delay on this uh, magnet fishing trip. I had to bring the table out to the cottage today, and there was a hornet's nest up inside this frame somewhere. So when I hooked the trailer up, they got me. They only got me once, though. Right on the back of the hand. Right there, and that one friggin' burned. So what I did was I just drove down the road. I went a mile down the road, got out, kicked the trailer, ran like crazy, got back in, drove away as fast as I could, drove another mile down the road, <laughs> got out, kicked the trailer again, and every time I did that, swarms of them would come out. I'd drive away, so then when I got home, uh, there wasn't too much activity here, and I took my garden hose and I stuck it up inside of there, and I blasted it for 10 minutes, so I haven't seen any signs of life. I hope that's it for now. Well, there's 20 minutes worth, guys. Not a single thing. Not a hook, a leader, nothing. So, our dock is just too clean. It's kind of like fishing. I don't fish. <laughs> it's, it's like real fishing, yeah. <laughs> this plastic uh, is actually holding up much better than the first bottle. No cracks. I've been using it for about 20 minutes here, so... And the other thing to mention, this rope, once it dried out from being used the other day, it actually lost a lot of its stretch. So I think once you've stretched it out once and it's wet and it dries, it might be uh, might be decent. I still wish it was a little bigger though, had a little more uh, strength to it. But for what I'm pulling in, which is just fish hooks and things so far, it's uh, it's worked all right. I thought I was a drone geek, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen what you look like from the outside? <laughs> no, <laughs> that is pretty funny. You wouldn't buy one of those if you did. <laughs> So Chris has his Mavic Air here, and he talked me into getting the Pro out. And we just did the first successful flight out over the lake since the last uh, crash in March in Arizona. pretty good to fly again so I just got to get back into this slowly and uh, wide open spaces that's the secret for drone flying well the real fishing is as good as the magnet fishing today guys we've been at it for an hour and nothing to show yet <laughs> just a nice evening to get out in the boat we are back in the field it was 32 degrees and so humid yesterday I was sweating just laying in the shade. So today, we can finally get back at it for a few hours. I got the silver sniper with me. He has declined to be in the intro, but he's here, I promise. And we're gonna find some more good stuff here at the old fairgrounds. John says he's digging a solid 69 over there, and I said, hey, this is a family show. So uh, John and I were just laughing. We said, we're gonna be able to dig twice as many holes today. Two days ago, we had a tornado warning here in North Bay, which we never get. In 30 years of living up here, I think maybe it's happened one other time. And it poured, torrential pour, and uh, hail, great big hailstones in the, in the yard. But the digging conditions here in the field, holy man, it, it's amazing how one rainfall has changed this field. We are literally moving at twice the speed right now, which means we're finding twice the amount of garbage. All right, so the Silver Sniper has got his first good coin of the day. It's a 1933 Canada Five Cents. I have yet to hit a coin, modern or old. Good job, buddy. 
All right, it's been two hours. No, I did not wet myself. It is that humid. We're just drenched in sweat. And sadly to say, this is the most exciting thing that I've found so far. An old square nail that's in nice shape. Well, I don't know, John yelled something. Then he put his arms over his head in a big circle. So he either found a fat lady or a large scent. I'm not sure. We'll check in a minute. Can't get a date or anything out of it. I'm gonna go clean her up. Looks kind of thick. What do you got? Hold on. 1895. Wow, nice. 18, anything 1800s is friggin' amazing, man. Well, he's got a decent signal here, so I was just standing here having a break. I thought, well, we might as well film it live then. Some iron in there? Oh, no. <laughs> coin. Oh, it is a coin. Crusty Canadian. Wow, that's rough, guys. I don't think I've ever found one in that bad of shape, but, huh. Well, that's kind of cool. That would be the broken tooth off of a rototiller or something like that for chewing into the ground. Well, there's some kind of old container John found. Has that got gilt on it? Looks like it, yeah. It was gold plated at some point, but it looks like it. John says that's his score of the day so far. So we had lunch, guys, and we switched fields, and uh, I'm getting a bunch of coppers here, early 60s, nothing to write home about. There's another little tiny gear. I don't know what that would have been from. I actually like finding stuff like that. It's cool. You know, it, it actually was something that they put a lot of time into uh, making. Precision. So you guys just saw me pull a little gear out of the ground and then John says he's found the whole uh, rest of the mechanism here. Oh geez, yeah. The anti Kithira device. Next episode, we're going to have time travel figured out because uh, we're going to put that thing back together. Well, Johnny found these in the same hole. So we've got a 1959 Canadian and some kind of medallion that's really light, like aluminum, and it has initials G-A-W. John said he found a 69 dime. Well, hey, John, there's my 69 dime. All right, guys, we just pulled a coin here. could be nothing, but it's uh, it's got a weird kind of shine to it here. It's kind of goldy looking. No, no, it's just an 81 quarter, but it really had a goldy hue to it for some reason. Well guys, it's uh, late afternoon. We've done uh, seven hours of digging, had an hour for lunch. It's been, you know, 32 degrees and humid all day, so I don't have anything left to sweat. We are done. We'll show you guys uh, pretty much all modern stuff except uh, John's uh, largey. And uh, we'll show you what we got. Unfortunately, not as exciting as the other day, but hey, we tried. So there's the haul today, guys. John figures he's got enough to get a coffee anyway. I forgot that uh, he also had the nice nickel here, which was uh, 33. And the large scent, and then the rest is just modern junk. And if anybody knows what this is, let us know.